In the 1870s, people flocked here to Esk in southeast Queensland, hoping to make their fortune in the copper mines. Most of them didn't. And Esk has remained a sleepy hamlet ever since. Now a newcomer is betting everything on an even riskier proposition, farming tiger prawns 100 kilometres from the nearest ocean. I met Martin and Michael in their orchard on Lunar New Year. Hello. It's customary Hello. not to turn Hi. up empty-handed. Happy Lunar New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Lunar New Year. I believe it's um, traditional to give money. Oh, I don't have any money. <laughs> and see. Yes. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. But what are you doing in the middle of the country in Ayers? <laughs> We're prom farm. You are prawn. Whose idea was this your dad's idea? Yep, yep. When he told you, right, we're going to move to Australia, yep. were you thinking Sydney, beautiful, yep. how wonderful? Yep. And then he said, nah. I'm moving to the country. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you happy? I like it. I'm happy. Because, like, I live in Australia for more than 10 years. Yeah. I used to the lifestyle, but in the scene, it's to crowd, like, too many people. And you're from China? No, I'm Aussie now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like 95% Aussie right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but why farm prawns where there's no water? You're not anywhere near water. Yeah, I have been uh, uh, nearly 18 years yeah. uh, working with salt water. I'm a researcher of salt water. During my research, I understand salt water is actually not polluted. Cannot be polluted. So we can keep on reuse. And so what has the orchard got to do with prawns? We feed the prawn, we still get some waste. Huh? The waste is useful. The waste, essentially prawn poo fertiliser, is fed to the plants in Martin's orchard. This is apple, this is papaya, this is lemon, but mostly I like mangoes. <laughs> In offshore aquaculture operations, the waste can pollute the local environment. And so what do the people in town think about what you're doing? Oh, people is get excited. Hey, Martin, what are you doing? Are you a pro farmer? Oh, are you farming? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, a lot of questions, yeah. yeah. yeah what's can, what's your favourite question that they ask you? They want to try the pro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have the pro ready to, to eat. <laughs> Damn, that was going to be my next question. Enough preamble. I want to see my first inland prawn farm. Oh, 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 oh. How long traditionally does it take prawns to grow to this size? Traditional one, there's a low intensive. It's one square meter, they are farming 30 pieces. We are farming like uh, 300, all right? So 10 times more? Yeah, 10 times more. So this idea, at the moment, it's prawns. Will it always be prawns, or are you thinking of doing something else? Oh, that's, that's my dream, you know, Hanina. I can farm in oyster here also. Oysters? Yes. Why not? The water is so good. Water quality is so good. <laughs> Martin is new to prawn farming, but he's been working with aquariums for decades, pioneering the development of something called a protein skimmer. You can take out the waste a device that removes food and waste from home aquariums. He's been very successful. So is any of this and what you've created here yeah. going to use in, in what you're doing with your prawn farm? It is uh, big related. Yeah, big related. So from research of the protein schema, I got to understand salt water is not polluted by the protein as Fresh water doing. That's the reason I moved to aquaculture. And this idea cost me seven years of research till now. And I, huge money. The quality of the salt water is everything to Martin. But home aquarium protein skimmers aren't going to work in this system. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Martin needed a big kahuna version. We call this tank urine. Urine. Urine, like the yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. This is similar to the kidney. The kidney, right. Kidney. So yeah. it's a dialysis machine. 
yes. Uh, yeah, I think he's. I don't know. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I know yeah. things. <laughs> I'm telling you Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is taking the protein that feed. Yeah. Out of the prawn ponds. Yes. The protein of the fish, sea algae, worms, plankton, we hold it here, yeah. and we pump to the as fertilizer. So very important wow. part. You're yeah, right. The kidneys. Yeah, kidneys. Yeah, thank you. And the pea. Yeah, and the pea. Yeah. That we is the waste, which is fed to the plants in the orchard. I get it now. Martin is not a prawn farmer. He's an inventor. You see? All of this. The tanks, the prawns, the orchard, it's all a full-scale working model for Martin to prove his system works. That's why he's in S. Me, I'm here for prawns. This is a first not just for me, but almost for anyone in the world, eating a prawn that has come out of a tank 100 kilometres from the ocean on a barbecue that is brand new <laughs> from a Chinese national who's never cooked a prawn before <laughs> on a barbecue in Australia. Bottoms up. Tastes like chicken. No, no, no. <laughs> Tastes good. Martin is dreaming huge dreams and the payoff could be even huger. The world does not lack for salt water. If Martin can prove his system works, people will be able to farm seafood anywhere. He's just got to persuade the right people. How long until you're ready to open this up? and show investors and, and convince people that this idea that seems on paper not viable works. How long? Now it's ready. Ready? Yes, it's ready. Interest to invest, come and visit. We have a look. But you can't get scientists here to show that you've been doing it the whole time. We are whole trying. Other. We're trying. What would you say to them? Come have a look. You can critical to me, ask any question. I got it already happened. Yeah, I make the project to prove I'm right. Yeah, please trust me, I'm right. 